Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Chris from Versus 3D down here at 3D Printing Canada once again. Today, we're gonna do some cool stuff with the Wanhao D7 Plus. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over to my computer and I'm gonna show you how to slice for the D7 Plus. Okay, here we are in Creation Workshop. First thing we're gonna do is configure our slicing profile. So we click Configure, Configure Machine, the Wanhao D7. Configure Slicing Profile. Here's some things that are important. We're gonna be slicing this model at 50 microns. So there we go there. And the, the resin we're gonna be using is Wanhao White. So we're gonna be slicing with this profile. Something super important when you're using the D7 Plus is you need to always make sure that this box here is checked, export to CWS, because that's the file the D7 needs to use. If you had to make any changes, click apply changes. If you didn't, I click it anyway, just to be safe. Now we're gonna go into 3D view and we're gonna open up the model. For this, we're gonna use a Voltron ring because I'm a nerd and I love Voltron. So it drops it right in the middle of the build plate. So we're pretty good here. What we need to do is add some supports. We don't want this model touching the build plate because we need to have some supports. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click move and we're gonna raise the Z axis up five millimeters. Now that will give it space to create supports. We're gonna click on the left side of the screen over here, the plus sign, and here's our support generator. What I like to do typically is I like to use a 0.1 millimeter tip and then just to make sure things stay sturdy, I go with a 0.8 millimeter uh, barrel for the support and then, you know, two millimeter base, whatever. Um, it can be bigger, it can be slightly smaller, it's up to you. Keep in mind, the bigger you go, the more resin you use and resin is quite pricey. So the easy way to do this is we're going to click the auto support button, which is this one right here. And there you look, supports. Now, I just wanna check and make sure that there's nothing that I think might need an extra support. Personally, I think the tips of the horns could use a little bit of support, so I'm gonna click right here, the plus sign, and I'm gonna add my own supports just by clicking right there. Make sure you click that off because if you don't, every time you click on the model, you're gonna add a support somewhere. So with that, I think we're good. Now we need to slice it. So the first thing you have to do is once you do all of this, you need to save your file. So I'm gonna save this right to my USB drive and I'm gonna call it Voltron Ring. You cannot have spaces in your names for this machine. Can't happen, so don't do it. Okay, and then click save. So now after you save it, you're ready to slice. So you click the slice button. It's showing you right here, the profile is 50 microns on the D7, hit slice. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick level and add some resin and we'll start the print. So, I always tend to add the resin first because I find that when you go to level it, when you lift the bed, it the bed sticks to the FEP and it bothers me so I don't do it. So just give your resin a good shake. We don't need a ton for this print. That should be more than enough. Always make sure that's nice and tight. You should be wearing gloves for this. I'm a rebel. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the utility screen and we're gonna just hit level. All it's gonna do is, okay, let me back up. 
we're gonna go to the utility screen, we're gonna hit level. But first, we're gonna take this Allen wrench and we're gonna unscrew these four screws. All right, so you notice as soon as they get the fourth one loose, the bed starts to fall. Okay, so now the bed is nice and loose, we're gonna hit next. It's gonna lower the bed right to the surface. It's gonna touch the film, which is flat with the FEP, and then we're gonna tighten the screws. It's not rocket science, it's leveling. Okay, now it's where it's supposed to be. What we're gonna do is I tend to just take my hand, gentle pressure, and then we tighten the screws. All right, then we hit OK. And now we're gonna add the print. Now the USB stick that we copied it over to is in the machine. Here's the easy part. Click print. We're gonna add a print, so we're gonna click the plus sign. The Voltron ring. Click it. And the check sign. Now here's the important thing. You notice that it says waiting, and it's gonna be at 0% the layer number comes up. So now we know there are 1,003 layers, which is what the slicer told us, so it's okay. So at this point, all we do is hit play. And it's gonna start. That's it, now we wait. I'm gonna go get some coffee. And it is UV, active, UV reactive resin, so make sure you put the cover on. This is the most exciting time lapse ever. We'll see you when it's done. And through the magic of YouTube, we're back. All right, so what we have done so far that we didn't show and we're not gonna show is the messy stuff. So I took the ring off of the print bed. I then Soak the ring in isopropyl alcohol for about 10 minutes, snapped off the um, supports, stuck it under some UV light, and here we go, our ring. Delightful, isn't it? The cool thing about this ring is, without even modifying it, it fits me perfectly. So I don't hate that at all. So, it's a little snug. There we go. So what's really nice about this is you can, I mean, you can see the layer lines because we printed it at hundred microns. You can print down as low as 35 microns. It does take more than twice as long to print, but it, you really do get a nice, beautiful print if you're printing miniatures or whatever. Um, but Overall, the D7, I've had mine for a while now, and it really is for the price. It's a fantastic printer. I would highly recommend it. I wish it had a bigger print volume, but for the price, you're not gonna find a print volume any bigger than that. So here you go. Voltron ring, printed on the Wenhao D7, plus in Wenhao white resin. You can see how it is. You can see how beautiful it is, and it's Voltron, so it's really cool. Anyway, this is Chris from Versus 3D. Um, thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to click the bell and ring the buzzer and subscribe and like, and uh, down in the box down at the bottom there, leave a comment. There's also a link to my YouTube channel down there. So that's it. Have a good one.